Alright, welcome, 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 welcome back to the Beatzilla PDX official break. This is Beatzilla PDX official, and we have a story real quick coming out of uh, Florida. Florida, 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 Florida. As you can see the title of this video and by the thumbnail, four years for four lives. The family says, quote, an absolute joke. Families outraged after driver only gets four years in prison for DUI crash that killed four mothers. Of course, you see these sisters on the screen. That is them. Um, so let me change that. All right. So getting right on into it. A Florida woman who was driving under the influence and near at nearly 25 miles over the speed limit when she crashed into another vehicle killing four black mothers will spend four years in prison followed by six years of probation the family of the victims pleaded with the judge to reconsider the plea deal but circuit court judge larry metz said it was the only way to guarantee that the driver heather finley would spend time behind bars the maximum possible sentence was about 37 years. Quote, a year for a life, unquote, fumed Natal uh, Natalia Davis, a cousin of Rosalind Felton, one of the mothers who died in the crash. Quote, if that's the value of black life today, then I don't understand where, where the world is going. Mm, cold statement right there. Um, and this is uh, off of an incident that actually happened back in 2018. Um, so it's just now, you know, coming to uh, conclusion. So it goes on to say Felton, 29, was in a Chevy Malibu truck with cousins Shakela Smith and Cambria Smith, both 26, and Tierra Chambers, 25, when Finley smashed into the into uh just in smashed into them i guess it's supposed to be there uh just after 2 a.m on april uh, 2018 the mothers of a total of eight children were leaving the breeze bar after their family members said was a rare night out chambers was making a left turn out of an unpaved parking lot onto a state road 50 in muscotti about 40 miles west of Orlando, when Finley slammed her Chevy Silverado pickup into the vehicle. Reports show Finley was driving 59 miles per hour in the 35 per mile, uh, mile per hour speed zone. Her blood alcohol level at the scene was 0.08%, which is the legal limit for when a driver is considered impaired. Reports show that the test was administered five hours after the accident. Oh, wow. Well, that, okay. That's kind of interesting again. Um, Metz had placed the deal on hold in, uh, in April to reveal more evidence. He said that the ruling on September 22nd, that if he rejected the deal, the state could drop the case and he did not have the ability to alter the agreement between the prosecutor and the defense attorneys. Hmm. Interesting. Finley, who is white, the victim's family believed the outcome would have been different if the victims were another race. This whole case has been blown purposely because of race jake's uh that's jakeson turner told prosecutors after the sentencing hearing finley's license would be revoked for three years and she also is ordered to pay two hundred thousand dollars in restitution to the families as a part of an agreement prosecutors dropped four dui counts convicting finley of four vehicular harm homicide charges the, the family said they also did not have any say in the plea deal. Well, that's extremely interesting because uh, to my understanding, that is not how plea deals can actually be worked out. But I guess, of course, that also depends on if you have the complexion for the protection. 
uh, goes on to say, we take care of these children when everything we have in us, with everything we have in us, Davis said, that's about four lives taken. Yeah, that's, that is four lives taken, but it goes on to say, this is about the children who have been left without their mothers. If you have, if you say that there is no point in her going to prison, then it gives our families back. But it doesn't make this possible for us. Prosecutors noted that, that there is issues with uh, with evidence in the case. In the three page memo, state attorney Chris Small detailed problems with the video and quote the black box data from the vehicle and the defense accident reconstruction report that raises doubts about Finley's impairment. But you already tested her over the legal limit of impairment five hours after the crash. But you're still trying to. OK. All right. I'll keep reading. Finley's defense attorney filled a motion challenging the blood level alcohol test results, saying that they ba they were based on a lack of scientific reliability. Hmm. Don't know if they want to start going down that road on DUI cases. The convicted woman reportedly yelled, quote, that B wrecked my new truck. I'll say that again. The convicted woman, the woman who just got four years for deleting these four women while being um, impaired when she after she got done deleting these four individuals. She says, quote, that B wrecked my new truck. Unquote. The defendant, other than being hysterical, showed no indicators of impairment. The prosecutor memo stated, <clears throat> Finley reported tearfully during the uh, hearing, apologized to the family. Some of the victim's relatives left as she spoke to the judge. I don't want to hear you, one of them said. Still, Finley expressed her regret. You all remember when Amber Geiger ex uh, tried to show regret and then filed for an appeal. Um, oh, also the other woman in, uh, what is it, Minnesota, who had also cried on the stand and then filed for an appeal. Um, next, I'm sorry. And I know saying I'm sorry doesn't bring these girls back. But there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about them. She said, I know they don't want to hear it, but I just want to say I'm sorry. The young mother's children were from newborn to 12 years old at the time of the fatal crash. Local paper and daily commercials report. Chambers' mother, Jamie Thomas, showed the judge a photo of her daughter. I want everyone to see that this is Tierra Thomas, or Tierra, Thomas said. The woman had just got engaged and was planning a wedding and a honeymoon to Jamaica. It was 10 days before Chambers' 24th, or 21st birthday, and her son was soon turning two. Thomas said she received Chambers' passport and college diploma in the mail after she was gone. She never got to walk across the stage. The victim's mother said her death almost killed her. She, she had to be prescribed medication for social anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder. It's been four long, excruciating years. I miss her so much, Thomas said. Her baby boy's second birthday was 20 days after she was deleted. I um, imagine trying to plan a funeral and a birthday party for her son at the same time. That's awful. Thomas reportedly sobbed uncontrollably as Finley was led out of the courtroom in handcuffs. Her husband, James Thomas, sometimes pounded on the podium when he spoke, calling the case, quote, a farce and saying that the tragedy left a hole in my family's heart. He hopes that the driver and her family one day experience the pain his family is feeling. Shout out to that brother. Yeah, the, the spirit of forgiveness was not flowing through nobody on this day. Yeah. 
and that much is clear. I know what's wrong to say that, he said, but she is pleading. Is she? But what she's pleading out to is an absolute joke. The women's relatives had asked the judge in April to reject the deal, but Met said after reviewing the new information, he felt better about his decision. So the family is saying reject the deal. But he, as the so-called prosecutor, is the one who went against the family's wishes to give this woman four years when she could have gotten 37 Lastly, I was 11 years old when my mother was taken from me and my sister, said Felton's daughter, Elena, uh, Alana Marshall, now 16. Heather, you have life left. Your parents can see you in prison. My sister said my dad and I have to go to the cemetery to talk to my mother. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of this particular article, but this says a ton about this legal system. And for those of us who have family members or who had to experience it for ourselves, we know the disparity in convictions. And we also know the experiences of overcharging by district attorneys. Here is a open and shut DUI case. If she tested over the legal limit five hours after these people were deleted, after realizing how horrible the crash was, her first thought was that B ruined my truck. And now she's sorry. Well, then what happened at the moment of the crash where you see these individuals are uh, deleted? These people died on the scene. And your response, and they're talking about she's hysterical. Hysterical over what? Because you're reporting that she was hysterical over the wrecking of her truck, to which she did by running into someone else who was actually turning into the road, going over the speed limit at that. I don't understand how she avoids the DUI charges. You literally dropped four DUI charges. These women are gone behind that. So, and that restitution is extremely low. We've seen way higher restitution in uh, property crimes. So it's kind of interesting that they're doing that, but whatever. I guess that's how the state of Florida is rocking, but that even more so says how the justice system in America is rocking. So just to tell you the truth about what you see. Privilege at its finest. So, again, family, this was just a real quick news break about this story. Um, Four years for four lives. Sad story. Uh, A lot of these children are left motherless. You know, um, these women, some of these women, uh, we're about to get one of the women we're about to get married so yeah tragic story uh, even a more tragic um, injustice while they conclude it with the suspect district attorneys that pick and choose when a, a case is severe enough to really do, do some serious time when I guess the lives of four black mothers ain't worth that kind of makes you think about the whole Roe and V Wade thing when they're trying to push that on black women now doesn't it something to think about so with that being said family this has been a Beatzilla PDX official news break um Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you have not already subscribed, do so at this time and hit the notification bell and hit the word all. That way you can be notified anytime that this broadcast goes live or a video is uploaded or premieres just like this one. So hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, Come check us out in Twitter spaces. You know how we do with my brother, Black Alpha. And 
always stay tuned to the midweek report and also to the weekly wrap up right here on the beat zilla pdx official show so you see the ticker at the bottom if you would like to donate uh, to this channel if you like the content you can show your appreciation right there uh, cash app dollar sign beat zilla pdx and also we have paypal which is zilla music that is z-i-l-l-a-m-u-z-a-k at paypal and with that being said family y'all have a let me see where's that at there ah y'all have a, a blessed blessed wonderful day black first black first black first shalom if you're tired of being censored on social media join six zeros.net it's black owned black operated and black moderated and we make sure it stays a safe space for us to talk about all things black culture we also got some cool gear like the f dim cotton crew neck the fearless ancestors tee hats and more check us out at six zeros.net Hey girl, why are you so sad? I just got banned from Twitter again. Should have been on 60s.net. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>